Breaking news, there has been heavy fighting throughout Gaza as Israel continues its offensive with the help of the United States military and diplomacy. Overnight and into Sunday, intense fighting continued across Gaza, including in the devastated northern area. Israel continued its offensive following the U.S. blocking the latest international call for a ceasefire and sending additional munitions to its ally. Following the slaughter of thousands of innocent Palestinian civilians, Israel has been met with increasing global condemnation and demands for an end to the conflict immediately. The besieged territory of Gaza has forced nearly 85% of the 2.3 million people who live there to seek refuge, with no safe havens according to UN agencies to U.S. Vetoes of UNSC resolutions to end fighting, which had widespread international support, and emergency sales of more than $100 million in tank ammunition to Israel have provided crucial support to the offensive in recent days. United States President Joe Biden was thanked by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for providing important ammunition for the continuation of the war and for supporting Israel at the Security Council, the United States has consistently stated its support for. Israel's objective of weakening Hamas' political and military capabilities and rescuing all hostages taken in the attack on October 7 that started the war. On that particular day, Palestinian militants led by Hamas launched an assault on southern Israel, killing over 1,200 and detaining around 240, 100 of those prisoners were released during a week-long truce that ended last month, according to Netanyahu's office. 117 hostages and the bodies of 20 others who were killed in the October 7 attack or while in captivity remain with Hamas. Terrorists want to trade them for a lot of Palestinians that Israel has detained. Israel responded to the attack by launching an air and ground war, which has resulted in the deaths of thousands of Palestinians, most of them civilians, and the displacement of around 1.9 million people. Food, water, and other necessities are in short supply for the Palestinian people due to the restricted flow of aid and the impossibility of delivery across much of the territory, speaking last week, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned that we are facing a severe risk of collapse of the humanitarian system after invoking a rarely used power to demand a ceasefire. The situation is fast deteriorating into a catastrophe with potentially irreversible implications for the Palestinians as a whole and for peace and security in the region, he stated at a Qatari forum, according to Sachi Hanegbi, Israel's national security adviser, who spoke to Israel's Channel 12 TV late Saturday. The United States has not given Israel a deadline to dismantle Hamas and return all of the hostages, his assessment that the duration would be too long to gauge in a matter of weeks was accurate, and he expressed doubt that it could be calculated in months. Up north, there's been fighting and arrests. Ground forces have been operating in northern Gaza for over six weeks, and despite airstrikes leveling entire neighborhoods, Israeli forces still encounter heavy resistance. Images of scores of prisoners waving their hands in the air while undressed were aired by Israel's Channel 13 television. Some raised assault rifles in the air, while a solitary man cautiously approached, dropped a gun to the ground, and then circled back to the others, similar scenes involving groups of naked, bound, and blindfolded men have surfaced in other videos shot in the past few days. The Associated Press was informed by men who were released on Saturday from a different group of detainees that they had been beaten and denied food and water, according to Israeli media, the large-scale arrests indicate that the northern Hamas faction is capitulating, according to locals. However, the Shijaya neighborhood of Gaza City and the Jabalia refugee camp are still seeing heavy fighting. The camp is a densely populated urban area that houses Palestinian families who were either forced to flee or were driven out of what is now Israel during the 1948 war that preceded its creation. A Shijaya local named Hamza Abu Fatah said, they are attacking anything that moves. Ouch! He stated that Israeli snipers and tanks had set up among the deserted buildings, making it impossible for ambulances to reach the scene of the crime. The resistance also fights back, he added, mentioning that there had been intense gunfights late Saturday, even though Israel ordered the northern third of the territory, including Gaza City, to be evacuated early in the war, tens of thousands of people have stayed there out of fear that the southern part of the land is not safer or that they will never be allowed to return home. Unsecure areas according to the health ministry in the Hamas-controlled territory of Gaza, the number of Palestinian casualties has surpassed 17,700, with women and children making up the majority, as the war enters its third month. 
The death toll from combatants and civilians is treated the same by the ministry. Israel blames Hamas for the deaths of innocent people, claiming that the group's militants posed a threat to residents by engaging in combat in heavily populated areas. The ground offensive has claimed the lives of 97 Israeli soldiers, according to the military. The militant Palestinian group Hamas has also persisted in its rocket attacks on Israel, while it maintains its aerial bombardment of what it claims are militant targets across the country, Israel claims to have issued specific orders for civilians to flee to safer areas. Rafa, a town in southern Syria, and the surrounding areas along the border with Egypt have recently become safe havens for thousands of people, as they are among the last places where humanitarian organizations can bring food and water. Israel has established a buffer zone, known as Mawasi, along a small stretch of desolate shoreline in the south. Overcrowding, lack of shelter, and unsanitary conditions are realities for the Palestinians there. On Sunday, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, head of the World Health Organization, issued a warning about the ideal conditions for disease to spread that result from displaced people congregating in smaller areas without proper sanitation, food, water, or sheltered. I, in addition to Hezbollah in Lebanon engaging in border skirmishes with Israel, other militant groups backed by Iran are aiming their weapons. At the United States in Iraq and Syria, further inflaming tensions in the region, according to France, one of its Red Sea warships shot down two drones that had been tracking it from Yemen, where the Houthi rebels, backed by Iran, have threatened to cut off Israeli shipping through the strategic waterway, according to Anegbi. Israel has offered its Western allies some time to prepare a response after it urged them to deal with the threat. But he did promise that we will act to remove this blockade in the event that the dangers continued, underscore 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 written by Magdi in Cairo. Lujain Joe of Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and Melanie Lidman and Julia Frankel of Jerusalem, United States, contributed to this story.